Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel of Global Solutions. Uh, for those who are aware, Paul Pelosi, the 82-year-old year husband of Speaker Nancy Pelosi, is now out of the hospital. And that was a very lucky uh, uh, incident because uh, he was able to... Uh, La, be able to go to the hospital and take him to the hospital and he's now safe. Now, members of Congress, Senate, political leaders in general are quite uh, nervous about this, this incident where the husband of uh, Speaker Pelosi was attacked at their own home. Now, now that he's out and safe, I'm going to say this. I'm going to send this warning to Speaker Nancy Pelosi. Warning. And this warning applies to all. All members of the United States Congress, members of the United States Senate, all of them. The CDC, Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the National Institutes of Health, NIH, the Director Garen Wintem Youth of Violence Prevention and Research Program of UC Davis. According to him, violence prevention policy should be guided by solid scientific evidence. That is totally wrong. Why is it wrong? Take a look at this. They have been studying gun violence for decades. Decades. Not year, not two years. Decades. And what do they have? Empty-handed. And all those manpower, time, and money that was spent were all for nothing. They will never find it. They will never find the way to prevent violence. Why? All nonprofit organizations, same thing, that are currently searching for ways to prevent gun violence or any type of violent crimes. This warning, excuse me, This warning to Speaker Pelosi, this is my warning to Speaker Nancy Pelosi, is one per, at personal level. The home security camera, they have the home security camera, camera, but no one was monitoring it. Number two, the door, the, the door was uh, poorly designed. I'll show you that. Everybody can see this now on, on, on newspapers. The newspaper released this. This is where the intruder was able to, to break the glass and was able to see, meet uh, Paul Pelosi. And we were inside their own home. He was attacked with a hammer. What is wrong with this door? Number one, if I'm multimillionaire like Mr. Pelosi, I'm going to have security windows to cover this glass. Number one. Number two, this thin glass is so easy to break with a hammer. If I'm a million multimillionaire, I'm going to have this windows made of bulletproof glass. Number three, the design of the door is wrong. Why? Because as you can see, the door opens outward. That, that's what's wrong in this, in this picture. When you have a door opening towards the outside, the door hinges are outside. They're all outside. All you have to do, 
All that an intruder can do is remove the pins holding the door because the pins are outside and the door will fall. And that's, that's a very simple thing to do. All you have to have is a screwdriver and they fall, fall apart. Another one, look at this. This is like an invitation for an intruder to scale the second floor. He can enter the second floor if he wants to. So, Speaker Pelosi, I hope you will be able to watch this presentation. Now, what else? Professional level. This warning is one at personal level and professional level. Speaker Pelosi, you provided 25 million to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, and the National Institutes of Health, NIH, 50-50, to research gun violence, how to prevent it. They will never find it, just like anybody else, just like any nonprofit organization. Never. That's 100% sure. So that money that you gave to NIH and CDC is a total waste of money. This is a $17 book that I wrote and published in 2016. $17, not $1 million, but don't buy it. I'll tell you why. These are the eight major benefits of this book. Eight major benefits. Please read them. The House Sergeant at Arms, the Capitol House Sergeant at Arms uh, office is providing $10,000. I think it started uh, back in August for each member of Congress where you can spend the $10,000 for your residence security equipment like camera, lux, motion sensors, panic button. What all this will do for your life? Maybe a little bit. Because why I, why I said a little bit? Because oh, plus $150 each member for monitoring maintenance fees of those cameras motion sensors, panic button. All these are ban aid fixes. They will never prevent violent crimes. Never. Like for example, a camera. A camera will record the, uh, the crime in progress. Just like what happened to Speaker Pelosi's house. They found out, they saw it on camera, after Mr. Pelosi was already at the hospital, meaning nobody was watching the camera. Even if somebody was watching the camera, if he's not in that house, Mr. Pelosi will still be attacked. Maybe next time with it's something more deadly. So all those are what I call ban aid fixes. They will never protect, cameras will never protect you. Security at the Capitol, security at your residence, that's fine if you can do that. However, how about public areas? How about when you're on your personal errands or when you go to the supermarkets? or when you go see your hairdresser, or when you pick up your dry cleaner, or you pick up your children at school, or your children were attacked at school, what are you going to do with that? More cameras? Just like uh, Representative Steve Scalise, remember when he was shot at the baseball, uh, baseball game? Fortunately, was he, he was able to save himself. Or former Representative Gabby Gifford, 
she was also shot while meeting some constituents uh, in a supermarket out uh, somewhere in Tucson, Arizona, I believe, if I remember correctly. And if I am not mistaken, Miss Gifford was uh, uh, has a concealed carry at that time, but she was not able to protect herself. I hope you are following my thoughts about this. For 50 years of studies, research of the government system of the Philippines and many other countries. I wrote this book. This book is provided with this guarantee. Speaker Pelosi, members of Congress, members of Senate, you will not find anyone working for the government, including law enforcement, military, uh, intelligence agencies that can defeat the contents of this book. They will never be able to figure out how I figure it out. And I will explain it. As I said, these are the eight major benefits. No government anywhere in the world can provide this. No. Nobody, including the United States. For the security that I'm offering is applicable to all lawmakers. Not only that, all Americans, communities and schools, home or work, school or public places. And those are, are uh, presented, I presented this. On YouTube, part one of three, two of three, three of three. The ultimate solution to gun violence. All you have to do, you don't have to buy the book. Please don't, don't bother. All you have to do is watch these presentations. And then you can ask anyone in the employee of the government, from uh, law enforcement, from military, from intelligence agencies, can they defeat the analysis that I provide here? No, 100% sure. No, they cannot. Applicable. This prevention system that I developed is applicable in the entire United States. Anywhere in the United States. Canada, Australia, Philippines, European countries, South America and Latin American countries. Remember those people who are trying to cross our border because of violence in their own country in South America and Latin American countries? Violence and what else? Poverty. Because they do not have my prevention system. That's why I said this is applicable to all these countries. Approximately 195 countries in the world. And these are my guarantees. Please, you can read that yourselves. What, 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 what other guarantees do I have? My solutions and prevention system cannot be developed by anyone else. No one else can implement these programs and solutions except my company. No one else. You can read the book. You can... You can uh, uh, re review my presentations on YouTube and you will never be able to do that. The objective of this warning is to make all members of Congress and Senate to be aware that once this company closes, these programs and solutions will be gone forever. No one else can no one else can develop this. That's why I'm sending this warning. And uh, the problem is I'm not getting younger. I don't know how long I can hold. Who are exempt from this warning? President Biden is exempt from this warning. 
or former presidents of the United States are exempt from this warning. Why? It's very simple. The president has a 24-hour, 7 days a week security wherever he goes, whether he's sleeping, working, or uh, walking outside, or he's going to any occasion, he has uh, full security details. Same thing with former presidents of the United States. Wherever they go, they have security. And you all know that. But Congress, members of Congress, members of Senate, you don't have this. When you retire from, even though who, who are selectively given uh, security, once you get out of the government, you lose that. Uh, you will have to spend your own money to provide yourself your own security with security guards, local security guards. I hope uh, you have the common sense to take a look at this. Or otherwise, this is gone forever. Thank you very much, and uh, I hope to see you again. And uh, I hope uh, you can share this with Speaker Pelosi, all members of Congress, and Senate. This, we don't know what's going to happen next. This time it's uh, uh, Paul Pelosi. Next time could be the children or grandchildren. Nobody knows. I don't know. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope uh, you will all be safe. Bye for now.